Hello beautiful family. So it's Stephen here, Wednesday the 17th of July in the year 2024. I hope you're all right. I'm, o I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. Um, some people are, are going through some right attacks. Um, please pray for Brother Anthony. He's been in bed six days. Nothing to eat. Can't eat. Can hardly talk. So I just let hello. So I just left him a, a voice prayer. I, sat, I felt quite angry actually. So, but he knows that I'm not being angry at him. I'm angry at the devil um, because that's what's attacking him. So, if I if I pray and I start to get angry, I'm not getting angry at you. I'm angry at the devils. So sometimes you need that aggressive faith. So I'm just taking you down here. I hope you're all right, beautiful family. Let me just pray about this video. Dear loving Heavenly Father, I just pray for this video to be uninterrupted whatsoever at all by anything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Which way should I go? I think, I think it's good on this way. Lord, whatsoever at all, it will not be interrupted by, by Satan whatsoever at all. It will go through the algorithms uh, und, un, uh uninterrupted, invisible, hidden in the secret place of the Most High. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above this. I pray everybody to go away feeling blessed, Lord, and by, by thy spirit and for your glory, they'll be empowered in the name of Jesus with strength, Lord God. You'll set their feet upon a rock, Lord God, and the Lord God rebuke all sickness in anybody all fears, all, uh, any wicked spirit, whatsoever wicked spirit you may be, attacking my family, in the name of Jesus, the Lord rebuke you. I command you to dry up, wither away, and be cast off them, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and not to come back on them ever again, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are loosed off them now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for them all, Lord God. Make a noticeable difference, I pray thee, Lord God, by lifting up the power and the light and beauty of your countenance upon them and give them peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm just going to go up this way, family. So, so I hope you're all right. Uh, so let me get this out here. I just got it uncharged, but it doesn't need to be uncharged at the moment. So, crazy days we're in. We could be gone any moment. Uh, this first day we've seen the sun. But as you can see, uh, same old usual crap in the sky. I mean, you see it everywhere. People need to be aware of it. And most, most of you are aware of it. I mean, just look at it. But it's nothing compared to com compared to how it was for, I mean, nine days in a row when you, you wouldn't be able to know where the sun was. Doesn't it look beautiful out there? It's absolutely beautiful. I hope you're alright. Uh, let me say Psalm 23. No, Psalm 25. Unto thee, O Lord, do we lift up our soul. O our God, we trust in thee. Let us not be ashamed. Let not our enemies triumph over us. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Lord, let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Lord, show us thy ways. Lord, teach us thy paths. Lead us in thy truth and teach us, for thou art the God of our salvation. On thee do we wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of our youth, nor our transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou us for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon our iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease. 
and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck our feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me and have mercy upon us, for we are desolate and afflicted. Lord, the troubles of our hearts are enlarged. O oh, bring us out of our distresses. Look upon our affliction and our pain and forgive all our sins. Consider our enemies, for they are many and they hate us with cruel hatred. O oh, keep our soul and deliver us. Let us not be ashamed, for we put our trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve us, Lord, for we wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all of his troubles, through Jesus Christ. Amen. So, listen guys, uh, when I had that dream about, uh, I, I was on that, I was just to the right of this, that circle thing there. And I was, I was looking up, up here and, uh, well no, first of all, I was down there and just just over there on well, that that circle is well it's a semicircle you can see but i saw uh, coming down from the sky what, hold on coming down from the sky i, I, I saw uh, um made out of cloud all these icons and letters but there was other other writings in the sky and stuff and, and right over there somewhere over there there was there was that funny shaped aircraft and then suddenly they were just everywhere the whole sky was full of all kinds of shapes of uh, demonic craft and and the way the Lord gave it to me I've never felt so urgent I mean I got up I literally got up um, did a video and um, and then I realised afterwards, I thought, no, you should better calm down first. <laughs> because I was, I was probably, prob I was in a state. I was in a state. Because um, after that, that, that green blooming uh, thing I saw, <laughs> the green slimy thing, it was violently going up the street. And uh, I, mean, I mean, I couldn't, it was quite a fair way down the street. And I couldn't see it properly, but uh, couldn't see it properly. That's one of the tram lifts, Victorian tram tram lifts, it goes down, still running. Uh, but I couldn't see it properly because uh, it was dark. By the time I'd I'd got from here, it was already going slightly dusk. And um, by the time I got back home, it was it was dark. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go past the house that I went in, if it's there. And maybe it was just a the house, you know, that God provided in the dream, but I'm just going to see if it's there. I'm just going to go there now before before I go home and get something to eat. I'm just going to go and see if it's if it's actually as as it was in the dream. I just remember that uh, that shaped door, two doors, you know. I'm just going to see if it's there <laughs> and just just check, you know. I mean, so quite often we'll, we'll we see things in our in our dreams that we've never seen before, you know, places, people that we've we've never seen before. So uh, anyway, keep praying for your enemies, guys. Pray that pray that God would grant them repentance unto salvation. Pray that they'd repent. Remember to take your authority in Jesus Christ. Put on the whole armour of God, Ephesians 6, 10 to 18, I think it is. And uh, and just remember that Satan wants you to, th to think that you can't get out of that, uh, you know, that feeling of fatigue or whatever. Even though you've had a good night's sleep and you're wondering why. Well, you can. Um, I, I realised earlier on, I, I left a, a comment to Sister Gloria. I'm feeling fine. They left her a comment and suddenly I, I could hardly keep my eyes open so I just went I just laid down for a minute and then I realised it was a, an attack coming upon me like smothering me you know and uh, I just done I just done the 20 24 press ups proper ones 
So there's no reason why it should feel like that. You know, I've got, it's got about nine hours sleep. So there's no reason why it should, should have been like that. So I just laid down and I prayed and, and I, then I got up. I said, Lord, I said, Lord, I'm just gonna lie down. I'm not going to sleep, but I'm just gonna lie down and just pray that you give me wisdom and understanding. And uh, I realized what it was. It was a, a wicked entity. Um, the Lord rebuke you, Satan, for the glory of Jesus Christ. There was a wicked entity um, c coming upon me. Uh, probably sent from witches and Satanists. I live all around this town, everywhere. The Lord rebuke them all and bring them down to their knees in repentance. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone that, across to the ends of the earth, across the face of the whole world, who's practicing this stuff. So, may they all know, Lord God, first of all, that you are the Lord, Lord God. I pray you magnify your name in all these Satanists and witches' hearts, Lord Jesus Christ, that one day they will bow, preferably they will do it now, Lord God, you'll command them to bow the knee in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, because you are the Lord, and they're going to give an account of every little thing they've done, except they repent. I pray you pour out your love into them, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, come upon every witch, warlock, voodoo, witch doctor, enchanter, ah, the list goes on, I could, I could be here all day naming all these occult practices, I just put all these occult practices into your hand, these people doing it, channeling entities, the Lord rebuke them all, the Lord make every one of their witchcrafts, well, consume it with your all-consuming fire, Jesus. And, and their cursed objects, Lord, you'll smash them to pieces. Their altars, you'll break them down, Lord God. You'll snap their divining rods, Lord God. You'll, you'll break every single one of their objects in pieces in the name of Jesus for your glory's sake, Lord God. And uh, I pray you reveal yourself to them from, from in, the, in the daytime, in the nighttime. Visit them and show them that you are the Lord. You love them. You died for them on that cross and move them, Lord God, um, to stop fearing the devils that they're worshipping and to recognise, let the fear of the Lord come upon them, Lord God, and let them know, Lord God, that if they don't repent, well, I pray, if they still refuse to repent, then I pray you show them what hell is like, Lord God. Take them down to the chambers of death, to outer darkness, in visions and night visions and dreams, Lord God, and revelations, and show them what it's like down there, Lord God. Show them all the people in, in, in the fire, and Lord God, and the sulphur. No, fire, just fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, screaming. Let them hear, let, Lord. Let them see the gates of hell, Lord God. Let them see um, how the people are utterly consumed with terror down there forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. And may they repent after they've seen hell. There's nothing too hard for you. This comes upon every witch, satanist, warlock, whatever occult they are practicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is King forever. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, family. So then he got knocked down then. <laughs> well, I didn't. You just had to wait for me. So it's all right. So look at this crap. The Lord rebuke it all. Another thing, right, another thing, I've been hearing what sounds like jet fighters, right? And, and uh, it was while I was laying down on my bed that time when, when, I, when I felt suddenly fatigued. And it sounded like there was jets all over the sky. And I thought, I, just, I think the Lord gave me the wisdom to know that, that there wasn't any. So I rebuked them all, commanded them all to be silent. I first rebuked them, the Lord rebuked them and, uh, and be silent and dry up and wither away and immediately the noise has stopped. This happened six or seven times. This just happened as well when I was leaving a voice message to Sister Catherine. So these demonic craft which can make themselves invisible or they can shapeshift into aircraft appearing to, to do this thing. And I don't care if anybody thinks I'm crazy. I think people are crazy for not even looking up and seeing what they're doing in the sky. Uh, well, no, I don't think you're crazy, but just you need informing. 
but um, uh, anyway, they, they, they were silent straight away. So I think it's to do with uh, the war propaganda and all the rest of it. That's not to say though that world war isn't coming because it's biblical. It's biblical, and and uh, God, God is so merciful and compassionate. He sees the trouble we're going through, and I can only imagine that He sees sees us. Well, sometimes we're just hanging on by a thread, you know. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed with attacks coming on every side that you know He knows how much we can take, and uh, and not only that, He must execute His wrath upon this world which is done ever so wickedly. And um, I believe at any moment we could go. Yes, I do. I do. Every day, I was walking through town, I thought, hmm, I might just disappear right now. That's what I thought. Because we're looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour. Have you noticed it's all over the path of the sun, always? Um, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. Lord, make this clear. In the name of Jesus Christ, for your glory's sake. Um, oh, what was I saying now? I forgot what I was saying now. Uh, yeah, we're looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ, Titus 2.13. Any moment, any second, and it will be, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words 1 Thessalonians 4 16 to 18 Jesus Christ is coming and then this world oh my gosh it's understated just how terrible the, the wrath of God uh, the judgments uh, and the wrath that God is going to pour out on this world people they're just living idly, thinking that, I mean, you know, they've got, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with these things, they've got in their nice homes, their nice cars, switching on the TV, living such an idle life, no care for anything or anybody, you know, not everybody's like that, but just saying, the majority are, just carrying on, going to the football matches, blah, 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 not even recognising what time it is, you know, the time of the end. And it's, it's going to come upon them like a thief in the night. And then, boom, oh my gosh, people's, men's hearts are going to faint from fear when they see the, these things that are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So, all right, guys, I love you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Behold, I am the Lord. Isaiah, I'm sorry, uh, Jeremiah 32, 27. I am the Lord the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me, said the Lord. No, there's nothing too hard for you, Lord. Nothing at all. Hallelujah. Press into him, guys. If you don't get an answer, press straight away. Press into him again. And quote the scriptures. And, uh, and, and put on that whole armour of God and, and stab the enemy with the word of God. It is written like this you know greater is he that is in me i can do all things through jesus christ which strengthens me all right hallelujah